Hello and welcome to PT Exam Prep Study Topics. Today we're going to be going over nerve injuries that occur after fractures to the humerus. Let's first look at the surgical neck, which we can see highlighted here. A fracture of the surgical neck of the humerus are really common in elderly people, especially if they have osteoporosis. Even low energy falls onto the hand can transmit the force up the arm into the extended arm, which can result in a fracture. We can see the nerve affected in this fracture as the axillary nerve. Next, let's look at the radial groove. Now the radial groove, if there is a fracture, it's important to know where the fracture is. If it's, you know, the nerve affected above the radial groove or below. We'll talk about this more in a later post. But we can see the radial groove here and we know, easy enough, it's the radial nerve that's affected. Next, let's look at the distal humerus. Now, the distal humerus can be seen highlighted here. The median nerve is the nerve that would be affected to a fracture of the distal humerus. And last, let's look at the medial epicondyle. Now, this one should be pretty easy for you, but we know along the medial epicondyle is the ulnar nerve, which is the nerve that would be affected to a fracture of the medial epicondyle. Thanks for joining me, and if you have any questions, post it in the comments.